Our project is designed to detect motion and monitor temperatures within the pool. An alarm is triggered based on that motion. The purpose of this project is to alert homeowners that a small child or pet could have fallen in the pool. They will also be notified through their phones. Around 3,400 unintentional deaths occur every year by drowning. According to the CDC, many of these deaths are of children ages 1 to 4. We wanted to make a device that would help prevent these types of deaths from happening. Our pool monitor is composed of three parts, two transmitters and one receiver. This is the first transmitter. It is a microcontroller with an accelerometer. The accelerometer is used to measure activity in the pool. This is the second transmitter. It is composed of a microcontroller and a water temperature sensor. Both transmitters are sending their sensor data over radio frequency to the receiver. Our receiver is composed of multiple components. It includes a microcontroller, a Raspberry Pi, a camera, an LCD, and a buzzer. To set up, the user places the transmitter with the water temperature probe in the water. They place the other transmitter with the accelerometer in the pool. This is followed by turning on the receiver and making sure there are readings being displayed. Before arming the device, it needs to be calibrated so normal pool conditions do not trigger the alarm. To do this, a button is pressed and then a calibrating message is shown on the display. It takes about 30 seconds to complete, then it can be armed. During this time, it is calculating a threshold which to set for the alarm so that only abnormal activity will trigger the alarm. Once the message goes away, it is ready to be armed. To test the device, we drop the water jug, which is partially filled to weigh as much as a small child on the other side of the pool. It takes a few seconds to determine that activity outside of normal conditions is detected. And then the alarm is triggered. For demonstration purposes, we used an LED instead of a buzzer. At this point in time, it takes a picture and sends it to the user's email as an attachment.